Hello, everybody. My name is Anna. I'm the founder of International Doula Life Movement. And today I have Lipika here to share her experience about International Doula Life Movement. Hello, Lipika. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Nice to see you, Anna. Oh, it's wonderful to see you. Well, I'm hoping that you'll be able to share some insight for, um, for our audience. And would you mind sharing why you wanted to become an end-of-life doula? You bet. Uh, I wanted to become the person who I needed when my son died, and then my father died, and then when my mother died. I, I needed someone, uh, and there just wasn't anyone. So I wanted to be that person for other people. Very interesting. You know, that I hear a lot of different reasons why people want to become one. And I love the way that you, you put it. It was something for yourself and what you maybe, and tell me if I'm wrong or how I'm perceiving it, but how you felt when you maybe have gone through those losses, you needed, you saw what you needed, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. That is so amazing. And um, could you tell us why you chose International Doula Life Movement? Sure. Um, I uh, work full time and uh, have a very active child. And I wanted to, uh, I was called to get some training and I wanted something that was online only. And I really liked uh, in the previews that I saw the more clinical modules. And I think um, that's, that's something that I don't have a lot of life experience in uh, that I really needed to know for this profession. So um, I was really enticed by that. Oh, wow. Yeah, awesome. Well, could you tell us maybe what was your um, favorite module that we covered through our program? Mm -hmm. My favorite one was grief and anxiety. And the reason I liked that one so much is because I think we all conceptually understand grief and loss and anxiety about various and sundry things, exams, the traffic, but understanding uh, our role as someone who is there to witness and to assist in moments of grief and anxiety, that mm -hmm. is... Um, especially important and uh, being able to have the tools to to be able to be that person for right. people who are grieving and who are anxious and perhaps anticipating uh, the loss of a loved one or themselves so uh, I really liked that module oh wow awesome yeah because you know you never really know what you're going what types of grief that you're going to see or experience with your clients because of course as we know and we talked about how everybody grieves differently. So that is a really good point you bring out that, that it really is and that knowing that we need that background to go forth and be able to help our clients even better to be able to know what things that they might be experiencing and where to get them more help if they need more help with. Um, so thank you for, for sharing that. Um, now, I know we offer a lot of different perks. And so which perk does we that we offer that you find most interesting and useful or that you have found you know more interest you know interesting and useful i found quite a few useful um i will say that what i really love about idlm's um perks is uh the access to my uh materials post course so after mm. i got certified and also did some continuing uh Ed with you all, which I appreciate. Uh, I also got the opportunity to take other courses that would help me build my business and things, uh, things like how to get a website together, how to, how to build my packet um, to provide to prospective clients, um, all of those uh, nice things. Um, I might not be working working on in that moment, but when I'm ready for it, I'm able to go into my portal and, and get those materials. And so that has been very helpful to me. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, we definitely we want y'all to have that access to your portal afterwards, because sometimes, you know, I even found like needing to go back and just double check on something 
or a way that you can reference back to something I've had, you know, working with the client and I'm like, oh, I don't have that document with me. Let me go run into the portal and grab it, you know? So it's great to have that resource that, you know, you can just access at any time. So I'm glad that you are finding it useful and it's being very beneficial to you. Um, what would you say, or how would you feel about the support that you were given through your class time and after your class time? You know, I actually think I, I started getting support before I even started, because when I called to get some information, and I'm pretty sure I spoke with you um, before class started, uh, you were available to me uh, by email and by phone uh, to answer any questions that I had about uh, e even signing up. And then once I signed up, I was, I was just, I was in. I, I you were available all the time, as were the instructors. And so what I found really helpful was that there were different methods to do it. I could go in through the portable portal and, and check things if I needed to. I could email. Um, there is a group me that's available. And um, there's also a, a Facebook group. And so there were different methods depending on what students used uh, and and I got to choose at any given moment. If I wasn't near uh, my, my computer to do email, I could just pop into Facebook and ask a quick question and then pop back out and then continue on with a, you know, a meeting I was having, something like that. So I, I find the support um, ongoing and plentiful. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, we do have that um, group me app that we also utilize for anyone who's not on social media. Maybe they don't utilize the Facebook um, or Instagram. They can always be able to reach out to us through the group me app as well. So I'm glad you brought that up to share that with everybody. Um, let me ask you, would you recommend an international dual life movement to others? And if so, why would you re recommend it? Oh, I, I would. <laughs> I, I would. I would recommend it because uh, I think IDLM uh, provides the, the guidance and the support required for uh, someone in the end of life doula profession to be able to successfully launch a business right where you are. And um, we all around the country all have different um, needs and our communities look different. And so the needs look different for us, uh, how to market and uh, who even even what providers we can um, work with is different depending on whether you're in a big city or you're a rural area or you're really remote. And um, the, the guidance is there all the time. Any question that I have, uh, I've been able to get an answer. And if someone didn't know right away, if an instructor didn't know right away, they let me know within 24 hours because they went to go get it. And uh, I really appreciated uh, that kind of dedication. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because I mean, we do, we have students all over the world. And so we want to make sure we like we've always said in our classes to, you know, students to double check your area because every state and providence is going to be different. So there's a lot of countries and a lot of states. So <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we try our best. Thank you so much. Well, before we wrap up, let me ask one other question. What advice would you give to someone if they are thinking about becoming an end of life doula? Hmm. Mm, that's a good question. Um, I would say to someone, if this feels right for you, if you feel called to do it, if you are interested in being there for people and you have uh, a giving heart, you're needed right where you are in your own community. And even if you're in a remote area, you can tell a doula. And this is so doable. I, I wasn't sure, I'm, I'm not a, an extrovert per se. So I was a little bit worried about the getting out into my community and letting people know and I learned how very easily just in the course of talking to 
uh, my end of life doula cohort and instructors and question and answer sessions and special guests, I learned all the different ways that I could reach out without being, um, you know, some someone who's who's uh, very outgoing, and it's all so doable. There are easy steps, and there's so much support. So I would say, go for it, try it. You can do it. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I always say because sometimes they say, "Oh, well, what what are the prerequisites?" You know, and I always say, if you have a loving heart. And you can be not judgmental because that's where we're meeting our patients, right? We're going to meet them where they're at and we're not going to judge them on who they are or what their beliefs are. We're just going to love them where they're at and, and go through the process with them. And so thank you so much for meeting with me today and sharing your experience with everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so it, I want to thank you again and thank you so much for joining in with us. So if you have any questions about our upcoming program, we do have a class starting August the 4th. If you have any questions or would like to get a free preview, there'll be a link that you'll be able to click and watch a free preview and look at all that information she was telling you about that's in our portal. Um, and so thank you for so much for joining in and have a fabulous day.